morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been almost three years since COVID pandemics, and I've been on the stage. And of course, this is my topic. Uh, my name is Loy. I'm from Beam Software. So in order to attract everyone's attention, I just want to let everyone know, at the end of my slide, I, we do have a survey and also quiz, which allow you to entitle for grab food voucher. All right. So some of the slides, you probably need to pick up some of the key points in order for you to answer the quiz as well. So without further delay, let's quickly uh, look into these statistics. All right. This is the 2023 data protection trends report that we gather around 4,200 organizations globally. All right. Uh, inside here, we, we gather some of the things, all right? And there are a few things that we pick up and to share with everyone here. If you look on the screen right now, all right, some business, they are facing complexity because uh, in order for them to ensure availability for their application and data, all right, because they become more complex, from the statistic itself, we found out 85% of organizations, they hit a ransomware attack once. Okay? You probably heard some in the news as well. Some organizations, they do hit by ransomware. Some of you probably keep quiet because you don't want to spread the news. Okay? But ransomware is there. This is the latest trend. Okay? Cyber attacks, which hit into organization. Then thanks to COVID, all right, everyone cannot work uh, from go back to office, so they work from home. All right. Thanks to COVID as well, we also notice that most organizations they start to look into and also adopt into public cloud. All right. So from here, 67% of organizations they start to move to the cloud. And last but not least, 28% of organizations they still do manual process in terms of their recovery, right? So this is the statistics from the Data Protection Trend Report. For those of you who would like to know more, all right, you can go to our Veeam website and download this report as well. So to share with you, just want to uh, highlight to everyone here that business now are very hard to maintain the high availability of their application and data. That's because they start to grow. All right. When they grow, that means the environment becomes more complex. All right. And the worst case is some organizations start to move their workload into the cloud. When you move to the cloud, if you look into data protections, whatever what you have on premise, you cannot apply on the cloud. All right. And then, not to forget, ransomware is not stopping. They still continue to attack to your organizations. And then the last one is, because of a lot of organizations, they still do manual process, it becomes very tedious for operators and also business to ensure high availability and also applications for their data as well. So just to share with everyone here is, right, Veeam are very famous of virtualization protections, okay? When we talk about Veeams, everyone always think about VMware backup. But to share with everyone here is, we do have quite a range of products to cater for your needs, right? And also your environments to ensure data protections, right? Of course, we, uh, we have innovated our products for the past 15 years to protect your workloads on VMware, all right, on hypervisors, agentless. All right, you do not need to install agents to protect those workloads. For those of you who are running physical workload, you can also install agent. All right, we do have a plugins to protect uh, enterprise applications. For example, your Oracle RMN, SAP HANA, or even SAP uh, on Oracle as well. All right. Then the next thing is, let's move into the cloud. Okay, for those of you who move or migrate your Office 365 or even Salesforce to SaaS platforms. A lot of people thought that 
When you move to SaaS platform, you just leave it there. You don't need to do backup. But one thing that you need to understand, if, you, if we look into the shared responsibility model, okay, which released by the provider, they will tell you that they only ensure the availability of their services. Whatever things that you store inside, it's still your responsibility to do backup and also recovery. So on top of that, uh, to cater for Office 365 and Salesforce, we do have that solutions to do backup and also recovery. And of course, uh, last but not least, for those of you who move your workload to the cloud, we do have a cloud native to protect AWS, Azure, GCP, and the latest technology, Kubernetes. All right? We can also protect that as well. All right? So Veeam is here to keep your business running. There are three pillars which I'm going to focus in today's session. The first one will be data security. All right? So data security is referring to your backup data. Right? Ransomware nowadays, they don't just target your source workload. The first target they always will target will be your backup data. Once your backup data are encrypted, that means you don't have any data left. If they hit you ransomware, that means you will become more panicked. Right? Second, if you hit by ransomware, then this is where you are relying on backup to do data recovery. And of course, the last pillar will be data freedom. Whatever things that you have right now, you can easily move your data from one platform to another platform. Right? So this is the three killer which I'm just going to share with you. Right? So let's go into the first one. When you hit by ransomware, the first question that I will ask you is, are you going to pay ransom? Okay, it's similar like you are kidnapping a people, right? When they start to hit your organizations, they will ask you in terms of Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin is the one method of a payment which is untraceable, right? From Vim itself, we will advise you, please don't pay them. Even though you pay them ransom, doesn't mean you will get back your data. So therefore, we encourage you to do backup and it recovers your data when you hit by ransomware. Now let's look into data security. First thing, the first attacks, okay, is not your backup data first. Uh. If you look into the stages of ransomware, the first stage of ransomware attacks is always hacker. Hacker will try to gain access to your environments. Right? So the only way for you to protect the backup infra normally is relying on username and password. Okay? So your, your uh, IT operator will probably advise you to change your password every three months or even put a very complex password. Do you agree? Okay? Some of you I know, you probably put a password one, two, three, four, five, six, or you put your password on your desk. All right? So that is most people what they will always would do. All right? So in terms of data security, the first thing that we always will do is we will provide you multi-factor authentications, MFA. Right? So before you access to the Veeam console, besides then using username and password, we will prompt you MFA, okay? The MFA, you can get the code from your mobile phone. This is the second level authentication, all right? So once you already enter the MFA to gain access, that means you're authorized people, okay? You gain access, all right? So once you gain access, then you can, you can do your operation work by using Veeam console. But then another issue, most of the operators, they are very busy. You know what they did? They just leave the console open because they are very busy. They are multitasking. That's what they say, right? So they leave the console open. What does it mean? 
it means you open a door for a hacker to gain access, right? So therefore, in Veeam V12, we will have a timeout session. If you leave your console idle, for example, 10 minutes, we will lock you out. Once you, we lock you out, that means you need to re-authenticate again. So this is where you will go through MFA, and then you can start to use your console. So that is the first level of security. Then the next thing is your backup data, right? So now I want everyone to think about your organizations. Your backup data, is it immutable or not? Immutable means no one can make any changes or even deletions of your backup data, right? If you think that I can delete or you can delete the data or modify the data, that means you're not immutable, right? So therefore, in Veeam V12, we allow you to put your backup data into what we call a Linux hardened repositories. Together with Veeam V12, you can now protect your backup data to prevent any modifications and also deletions. Ransomware try to attack, try to encrypt, they were not able to. Administrator try to delete or make any modifications, they cannot do so as well. All right? Then the next thing is, when we talk about backup data, you always need to make sure that you have three copies. Two of them store into different media, and one of them must be offsite. All right? So therefore, one of the way for you to move your data, we allow you to tier your backup data into object storage. So this is where your backup data, you can tier to object storage. We do support AWS, Azure, and GCP for long-term archiving. Okay, so this is another option besides then go to tapes. So let's move into another scenario. Most of the times when you want to do backup, you need storage. But then, for branch environments, you don't want to invest additional storage. All right? So therefore, in Veeam V12, we allow you to transfer your backup data directly to object storage. All right? How about disaster at times? So when disaster at times, your on-premise, the whole entire infrastructure down, okay, you don't have another data centers, you don't have ESX host, you don't have any other platforms. So the only ways for you to recover is we can allow you to restore directly to public cloud. So we support AWS, GCP, and also Azure as well. For those of you who do have data centers, you got primary site, you got secondary site, we allow you to replicate your VMs to, data to another data centers by using our technology called Continuous Data Protections, CDP. CDP allow you to replicate every two seconds. So your data loss is only two seconds. In case of any disasters, you can fail over, you can fall back as well. How about those of you who do not have second DR side? So Veeam also got a service provider. Back end, they are using Veeam technology. You can also replicate your VMs to the local service provider. Okay, using CDPs, you can also replicate every two seconds. Anything wrong, you can fail over and fail back as well. Right? So let's move into tackle on manual process. So we do have another product called Recovery Orchestrators. You can build your DR plan. Inside that DR plans, you can have a list of tests that you want to perform, right? And then the best part is, this plan, once you create, you can schedule it to do testing in the sandbox environments, all right? Not only that, we also help you to generate documentations, all right? So whatever things that you perform on the DR, Okay, you execute, everything will be documents in the documentation as well. So just to share with you our latest release on Beam Recovery Orchestrators, the first one is Cloud DR. 
whatever things that you back up on-prem, uh, for example, your VMware and also your physical workload, we allow you to execute a recovery plan to Microsoft Azure. All right? So you can leverage it on Microsoft Azure as your DR. Second, agent DR, your physical workload. Most of the time, physical workload downtimes is because of hardware failure. You call hardware vendor to come and replace your hardware, it probably take times. So the faster way for you to bring up those physical workload, we allow you to restore to VMware. And the best part is, with Agent DR, you can also restore to Microsoft Azure. Right? And the last one, the most important thing is clean DR. Right? Ransomware hit into your organizations. The next question that you should ask yourself is, how do you know which backup data are healthy? You do backup every day. You've got antivirus who do scanning every day. But the thing is, ransomware still attacks. So once they attack to your environments, the next question is, how do you ensure that your backup data are healthy? So by using Veeam Recovery Orchestrators, we will scan your previous restore point. And then we will find the one which is healthy. And then we will do a restoration. All right? Last but not least, all right, uh, we got data freedoms. Whatever things that you back up using Veeam, you can now restore to any of the cloud. AWS, Azure, GCPs. And the best part is, from the cloud, you can transfer back to on-prem. So this is what we call data freedoms. And all this will prevent you from any vendor's lock-in. So we are here. Our objectives are very simple. We just want to keep your business running. So that's all for today. Okay. Uh, for those of you who would like to join the quiz, uh, you can now take out your phone and scan this QR code. All right. So we will pick 10 lucky winners. All right. Make sure you answer it correctly. All right. Then we will announce the winners after the event. Yong Singh from Veeam for joining us here. And thank you, Mr. Sudhir.